Are we ready? Yeah, are we're ready. Are you ready? You want no. to talk? Go, go, go. Like, all right. And the market okay. follow me. All right. And you're going to set up the end. And we'll just come on down here. No. Huh? No. Oh, no, wait, wait. 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 No, that's fine. No, no. Okay. All right. Then and. Ah. Wow, there's a girl in here. Yep. Yep. That? Don't get embarrassed. No, I'm not going to try not to. Guys, I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> not Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Bob. Bob. <laughs> this is Lisa. <laughs> uh, Lisa. So we actually uh, invite, she's our special guest. We invited Lisa. Our in here. first guest. Our first guest right now could be our yeah. only guest. We'll see how this goes. So we've invited Lisa in here because we had one pressing question after several videos. Now, well, after a lot of videos, we had one that got one negative review. Out of uh, over 100, we got two negative reviews. Exactly. One of them was over mispronouncing names. You guys yes. need to get more negative reviews. I know. Well, that would be nice, but maybe this because that can. means more people maybe. will be watching. So right. maybe this one will be the one we get the third one. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we'll get 20 of them. Well, let's go with it. I mean, that would actually be a lot. That, I'm all for it. The, uh, but the thing is, is that we were trying to figure out people's last name, the f Greta, but which we butchered her first I like to call her Gretchen. Name. Gretchen Thumberg. I get a lot more hate mail when I do Gretchen. Yeah. <laughs> it was the, and then Lisa. So we had to come all the way out. You drove from West Papa, Virginia, West Virginia yeah. so that you can sit here and help us understand how do you pronounce your last name, Bob? <laughs> so um, if you talk to Siri and tell Siri my last name, yep. yeah. he or she, because or they, <laughs> they. Uh, will hear Elmo Leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. But it's pronounced Elmo Leg. Oh, am I right? Elma Lay. Elma Because, you know, we do love your Instagram feed, which is, and Todd, we're going to do this in unison. Yeah. Elma Lay. Elma Lay. Yeah, that's just, right. You know, so it's just, it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm sure. We, we appreciate you coming up here all the way to help us clear that up. Yeah. Thank no you very problem. much. Yeah. Right, bye. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, you know, since we've got her here. Okay. You we got to, a few questions, right? I'm going to ask you more questions. We do more questions. You ready? Right. You got questions? I got questions. Yeah, go ahead. All right, go for it. So, how do you do 10 times? Well, we like glass plates. How West Virginia line? How long do they take you to drive here? <laughs> Who are Appalachian people? Are well, they really mountain do, folk? Do they let you take their photos? Or do they Is it stealing their, their soul souls still? <laughs> See, we thought of the um, that one. I don't photograph anyone. They're all cardboard cutouts. <laughs> they do that a little bit. That's more Exactly, because they have to stand still for so long. Your average person stays, what, 30 seconds? Um, well, a lot of my photographs are made over the course of 8 to 12 seconds. 8 to 12. Whenever yeah. I see now, I had my picture taken at one of your previous ones. I was a guest. Um, I wasn't a student. I was a no. guest. No, you were a special subject. guest star. And he thinks I'm very special. <laughs> he is like, special. Todd is special. And we've been called, I've been called a lot worse. But yeah, um, he, took, he, was, he took your class. He was the next hot model. <laughs> oh, top model. Tyra She's Banks not. called. She wants her beard back. <laughs> yes, yes. I grew this, and I've actually had some of it trimmed. Yeah. So it's not as big as it was. Pruned. Trimmed. Yeah. Trimmed. <laughs> pruned. I think pruned is accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was some wildlife in there. The, uh, it was like a tree. The you um, could braid it. Ooh, next week. Now. <laughs> You do that right now. I can break it. <laughs> oh, I'd get some dislikes. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Oh no. So you talk to her. <laughs> well, actually, let's give uh, Lisa a little credit because she is a fantastic photographer. Uh, of course, she actually has a oh, Wikipedia page. Did oh, you know that? No. Do you have I a did. Wikipedia page? I no. Did, Lisa, no. do you know you have a Wikipedia page? I found out that I had a Wikipedia she, you page. You do have a Wikipedia page, and uh, it says lovely things like uh, your father was a landscape photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of landscapes, or I mean, what how how much of photography was he, and how did that influence you? Um, well, when my father uh, back when I was a kid, my father used to print in the dark room, and I would go to the dark room with him, and I would watch as the pictures came up in the chemistry and that mm. was always the magical part of photography to me. Yep. Absolutely. Um, Watching it sit there develop in front of your eyes. Yeah. It's fun. Well what was he shooting with? And he was shooting uh the Everglades and he was shooting the thirty five millimeter okay. black and white. So was so, your dad's name Clive Butcher then? No. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh well see we all heard him. Secrets. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> We've exposed it here live. No wait. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, you have a lovely BFA from the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan. You were you learned expensive BFA. Expensive BFA, exactly. <laughs> uh, you currently shoot eight by ten on a Century Universal. This is all from Instagram, oh, uh, okay. Wikipedia. Is this correct? What? Well, well, yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. But there's have, some. There's some wrong and, things wait, on my Wikipedia. Eight, and, but well, it well, doesn't have the name of your the camera. name of your camera. Fitzgerald, Fitzwilliam, Fitzgeorge. And that's fits good. Well, that's, that's, that's a lot <laughs> of The name just fits. It does. It fits. It fits good. <laughs> With a Schneider Krinsnack 300 millimeter. Krinsnack. You got to <laughs> when you say it. Krinsnack. Krinsnack. See? And that's of course, they do say you focus on Appalachian folk music. How do, uh, and how, how do you get into that? I mean, I know you've moved, you know, because it's also going to say that you moved from B Brooklyn to Paw Paw, West Virginia. For Did the you music. just fill a dart at the map and hit that? Well, um, I started photographing Appalachian musicians um, back in 2010, um, and kind of I, I started photographing with one group, and then you know they introduced me to people who taught them. It just kind of music, grew. and then from there, you know, those people introduced me to friends of theirs who play old time music, and gradually I, I kind of. Uh, found myself in this wonderful community of musicians. Do you play an instrument yourself? I play guitar. All right. So you sit in and play with them occasionally. Yeah. All right. No, that's got it's fun. We got we've got several. Uh, well, I've got several people coming to the store and buy things. One and he plays a mean guitar, and he shoots glass plates. Mean now. guitar? Does he oh. yell you? No. No. God. No. no. <laughs> uh, off camera, I mean away. He on the twi he tweets yelling things at me. You can't get out of my yard. <laughs> Yeah. Things like I that. My guitar plays yeah. that song. <laughs> yep, yep. But he, um, but he does glass plates, and he does. He, yeah, one, he wants, one day he'll do one of your ten type classes too. He's only been shooting eight months, eight months, and this guy has gone from shooting thirty five millimeter to eight by ten to glass plates to film washi. Do you want to call him out on camera? D. Anson Brody. I was going to say his name in a moment, <laughs> but you know, we'll just go now. And I didn't mispronounce any See, of that. You, so you're not the only Instagram. one who jumps ahead. She's jumping ahead. I do. I, all the time when we're talking, I just jump ahead. And he goes, No, Ty, that's next. No, Ty, we, we don't practice. Right. So, so wait a second. Know. Wait a second. The camera has a name. Does the Toyota it, Tacoma have a name? Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, but there's a problem. Oh. You yes. notice she's not out front. I, I thought I saw a Toyota out there. I, there is a Toyota but it's, out there. It's yes. a different Toyota? It is different. Oh, oh, please don't goodness. tell me she's on her last leg now. Or is already passed. Already gone. Oh, she's passed. <laughs> it's it's over. There's no more. I mean, that you're going to have to strike at least one sentence. I just like to say sentence. that I'm looking at Christine off camera right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a reason why it's gone. <laughs> uh, no, no, there's, oh. not, there's not a reason. I mean... The truck had 305,000 miles on it. Well, and that's at least uh, to the moon. And it's to the moon. It's, it's not back, though. So <laughs> you, you got halfway there. You got there. They, we at least well, got Neil there, and Buzz yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't, I, I saw, and I thought your last one was red, or wasn't it? I, see, and I'm sitting there looking at something that's gray, and I'm going. Uh, so you do have gotten some lovely awards, as per Wikipedia. Lovely awards. Uh, lovely awards. Uh, well, of course, the 2010 Artist in Residence at the Everglade National Park. So that's an interesting gig as far as doing wet plates and all that kind of good stuff. What is being an artist in re residence essentially going to entail? I mean, I mean, um, you're just out there the entire time, just take, taking pictures. You're hanging out for a month. What are you doing? Um, yeah, just, you know, hang out, pick my nose. Okay. Yeah. Take pictures. Thinking of about it. taking pictures and not actually taking. No, but I, I, I spent. Um, I guess it was. I think I ended up doing two. I, I kind of. My memory is not sharp. Um, but. Is that all the smells in the ether? Ether. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I did. I think it was a month of uh, of being in residence. I think it was November, and then I did another uh, two weeks after that um and that was just during the course of working on this project which was uh, an eight year long project wow um so i had started uh, by going to the everglades on my own and sleeping in the back of my truck and then i saw that the everglades had you know, their own artist res residency and what they do is they put you up in park housing where um the park rangers live and um, it's kind of this funny little structure. It's it's all made out of cinder block and 
It's cool. So you have your own room, or is it just like a big bunk just, room community? It's basically just a giant lodge room. Yeah. Yeah, it's one room, and you've got your bed, and your bed is next to the fridge, and the fridge is next to the sink, and <laughs> next to the toilet. Next to the toilet. <laughs> next to um, it, well, it's a, it's a little bit nicer than that, no, but okay. um, it's it's kind of neat, and it's got a little porch, a little screened-in area. Cool. Yeah, because it. But I mean, that, I spent, that would be fun. Sleeping hours there. I sure. was up before the yeah. sun and back after the sunset. So cool. Well, I wanted to ask instead of a, how did you? Okay, you've you're connected to the Penumbra Group out of New York. The Penumbra. Penumbra Group. Penumbra. <laughs> See, it's Penumbra. Go ahead. Penumbra. Try and pronounce it again. Penumbra. 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 That's what, what did I say anyway. It Penumbra was, Foundation. Oh, it was horrible. You, Penumbra uh, Foundation. Fact, I'm going to roll the tape back and we're going to play it again. So. Penumbra Foundation. But you live in in Papa, West Virginia. Now, do a lot of people work like that with, with them? Or, I mean, because I always thought that it's up there, the classes are up there, everything's up there. But you're separated out. And then you got connected up somehow to the DCP, Dallas Center for Photography. And was this one of their first things to reach out and do something with another group? Or is this something they've done a lot? How did y'all get, how did that group get connected to the DCP? Uh, that, was, that was like 15,000 questions in one. Yeah, it you was. know that. Yeah. Well, just, just answer the one that you like. Don't forget <laughs> just all pick one. So. Answer it. Or answer something totally different. Hey, exactly. We, we, we will never know that's the difference. The, um, that's the political approach to it. <laughs> <laughs> Ask anything you want, I'll give you my answer. <laughs> um, so uh -oh. I, I started working for with Penumbra. Um, so I graduated from college right before the economic collapse of mm -hmm. 2008. Ooh, good time. Yeah, yeah. it's great time. <laughs> great timing. Yeah. Like, wow. Where in, in retro, in, in, the in the opposite, <laughs> I actually sent my second place daughter to college during the collapse. So she didn't even know there was a downfall. Oh, so. perfect. Exactly. She was sheltered that four years. Oh, the economy's back. Congratulations, <laughs> you've graduated. <laughs> good timing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so I got out of school, I worked for um, the Starn Twins for, um, I guess it was two or so years, and then um, they Who kind of, later? yeah, Starn Twins, <laughs> Starn Twins, um, was it Howard Stern and who was the other? <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't know so, uh, so I was making their carbon prints, right? Mm -hmm. I was their carbon printer. Which, do you guys know what carbon printing is? Sure. I know what carbon dating is. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, okay. but printing. Right. That's how you found your wife, right? <gasps> you found carbon dating. Did you, you swipe off. left or right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the one that you're supposed to I found her, uh, We've been married so long, there was no swiping left or right. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> he, he asked her, how did we meet now? That's, exactly. Yeah, that's how, that's, how, that's how long he's been married. <laughs> so I, I, um, I graduated from college. I started working for the Starns. The economy tanked. They continued on for a little while longer, mm -hmm. and then, boom, they were bankrupt. Um, and had to move nothing to do out with of you, Brooklyn. Though. Everything to do. My <laughs> carbon printing. They were just <laughs> it cost terrible. a fortune to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Something. So, so I lost my job as carbon printer, mm. and you know people are not generally uh, out pounding the streets looking for carbon So you printers. had the one place that had the job for that, and that <laughs> yeah. one place is gone. No other right. place had, had that option. Right. Um, so I, I knew about the Penumbra Foundation, which at the time was the Center for Alternative Processes, which before that was the Center for Alternative and Historic Photographic Processes, which is you know, just mm -hmm. a short name. Yeah, Penumbra um, is much easier. Right? Exactly. <laughs> um, You're getting better at it, by the way. I am. I practice. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't had to set it once yet, so I'm good. Yes, that's how you say it first. Um, he sounds like a motorcycle starting up. <laughs> Is anyone going to get through like minute five of this? They're probably no. like, oh, like they tune out about four minutes into it. Off. <laughs> it, de it depends. You never know. We never know. We're they right. might skip right to the middle. They might. They've probably done that before. Yeah. But go ahead. Or so, uh, so I noticed that they didn't have a carbon printing class and I always wanted to teach. So I went to the workshop coordinator at the time, who was Kelly Anderson Staley, and I said, hey Kelly, um, do you think you'd ever want some carbon printing classes here 
at the Center for Alternative Processing. It's a pickup line in the photography world. Yeah. And <laughs> I've they, never used it myself. I know. And they said, yeah, that sounds cool. So, sure. so I started teaching carbon printing uh, classes there, and um, the rest is kind of history. history. Yeah. So I've been, that, I've been to to glass with the, the Penumbra Foundation since 2009. Wow. So ten good. whole years, good. Yeah. So you got your ten-year pin then? Did yeah. they send you something in the mail? Congratulations, pat on back. You know, a they, little plaque for your wall. No, they they did a they digital can, picture and put it up on the yeah. Facebook page. Ten years, <laughs> digital picture. They don't keep track of that. Oh, 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 they're so nonprofits. So they got really the, they got the little Facebook <laughs> notice that it's been ten years since that's right. been here, and so they they liked it and shared it with everybody, right? Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's that's high praise. I like it how that happens. But yeah, so then how did you get connected up then with DCP then? So they just um, said, "Hey, we got somebody. You know, let's we got a, something down here. Let's like, let's pick we somebody. We need to kick her out of here. <laughs> How can we get no. her on the road <laughs> here for just a little while? Just we just need a small break. Small break. Um, well, I I was not at all the meetings because I was mm -hmm. not working in the office when when it happened. But um, DCP and Penumbra, from what I understand, uh, decided to have a partnership um, with." Tintype being kind of the um, the thing the that they had in common, um, or the wet plate workshop mm -hmm. being the thing they had in common. So um, I came down here and I did my first one. It was right after you moved here, Christine. When was that? 2000. And just in case we have our first audience member ever, so <laughs> She's we well, we guy. well since had our first interruptions. Now we have an actual audience member. Yes. And I actually told Peter about you guys. So yeah. Christine was the person that made it all happen. Yeah. Awesome. She, without her, I wouldn't be here in Dallas. There you go. And I remember, see, it's like, okay, you you did one or two. Uh, things here. The first time you just showed up, did the class, got the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. Second time you showed up, stayed a day, and then split. You did the extra day that you spent was I think that was we a, did a workshop, uh, well, like a add-on uh, workshop. We well, you did an add-on workshop, and then we did the alt process party get together. Oh yeah, yeah. And that just the reason that that came about, which you probably didn't know, but the reason why that came about is. That was on the exact anniversary date, 20 year anniversary date of our Don's Use Photo Equipment store opening, May 20th, 1997. Right. Yeah, I do and remember that. Yeah. I, I, I said, I want to do something that connects to something that, that kind of ties into a celebration type of an event. So I became the first sponsor for a DCP event and I, I, did the, I sponsored the class and everybody got a hundred bucks off their, their class. Just in case you're having trouble reaching, let me just go ah, and take care of that for you. <laughs> I, I, don't, no, I don't want you to hurt you. I don't want yeah, you to strain yeah. yourself. You know, my, I do have tennis shoulder, so that, thanks. But yeah, yeah, it was. You have been very generous. To it's the, fun. To and the workshops. I kind of want. I also wanted to kind of get people in the Dallas area to start coming together because there's really not a whole lot in Dallas where people come together and and then like meet and then other things bounce off of it and. Uh, <laughs> We have another person now. Right. <laughs> Our audience is growing. It's like. two now. But yeah, and it, it, it was a blast. We had like 40 people show up for that. And I didn't know that at the time that Pega City Breweries actually closed on Mondays. And they opened up just for this event. So everybody that was there was there for this or just happened to be driving by and say, hey, beer. Ooh, they're open. And let's go. But we had like 40 people show up. And what was fun about it is that everybody was talking to everybody. And then at some point, everybody would circle in and talk to you, whether it was in one on one or one on three, there was groups. And they would all eventually spend the whole time and everybody had a chance to come up and talk to her in person and, and just share things. You shared stories. Yeah, you pulled like, out your, your book. We, we, we had book signings and book sales. It was a fun first event. And um, yeah, so we just started doing that and tying that in every time you come in and putting that out, out process party tied in with this. And so now you went from two days and getting out to three days to four days event. And it's expanded out and it's fun. And yeah, because this time we're doing um, we're doing a tintype portrait studio on Monday. Yeah, in the morning. In the people, morning. And uh, in the afternoon. Oh, okay. And the so you've got um, you got people buying a four by five or upgrading to an eight by ten. 
Right. And you spend 45 minutes working with them on this. Mm -hmm. So you do the two day class, you do the portrait events, and people can come in and get their class. And it's great timing for Christmas. Of course, right. by the time we do this, it'll be after, but you know, this is really kind of cool. And then we'll do the par our process party. And then Tuesday, you're here doing- Doing a lecture. A lecture. This will be your first time to do a lecture here. And it's gonna be, I don't know, what's the topic? It's- Just my work history. thus far. Which is great because the first time she came and did that, she told us a story about, and we're gonna pull this in here. What? You're gonna pull what in here? Oh, her That's book. her book. And she brought this book out the first time and started going through it and people were asking her questions about this book and she was telling stories about it. And it was fun. This one right here, this photo, has a great story behind it. Now, if you come to the lecture, you'll hear stories about why this photo is interesting. Not so much as the photo, because that is interesting, but the story behind the photo. And that's what the lectures have been cool for. Is can, that, can they see it out there? Well, he'll cut to it. He'll do a little <laughs> cut to and, and I might, but it also looks funny with him holding a book too. So because <laughs> uh, he often does the zoom. Does in, that so. square show up? Look, no, like, no, no, the edge. no, no. That, that's you just that I'm, white square. I'm, no, you, you were, shouldn't. You shouldn't you, outline you, the square. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I, 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 I am the center of attention. You have the chance to be the center of attention. Yeah, but then I'd be doing we, that. We, we actually offer the seat to you. So. This is the prime spot. And I got it. All right. So I'm not I wanted getting, you to have it. Thank you. Because you deserve it. My exactly. ego needs because, it. because you're talking the most. <laughs> I got in trouble. Uh, if you, in case y'all yeah, figure this out. Christine, I know you're going to watch this like three times more, right? Uh, I used to always get in trouble in high school. Right. Ever since first, second grade for talking too much. Let, let's, let's ask some of the low ball questions here. <laughs> all right, so uh, you actually have a blank plate plate in front of you. So first of all, let's, let's I'm going to ask the easy question. It's not really a piece of tin, is it? No, it's not. It's actually a piece of aluminum that's covered with what is it? Just, just black paint. What are we talking about on, on the end of these? Can you grab said plate? Grab it, I stole one of your blanks. So what? I mean, it essentially. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly. Right? Because you, because people take them. Because you them. I was going to give it back. I'm telling Peter. <laughs> well, I we, got an extra. We, we have taped evidence of this theft right here. I'm cutting that one section out. <laughs> <laughs> But this is cool, yeah. So it's just a piece of aluminum. It's a piece of aluminum, and it comes. Um, it's it's actually uh, known as trophy aluminum because you know right. the um, placards that come on trophies that say, you know, ah, Bobby won first place in the I did not soccer know that. championship. That is what this would be. Now he took one of your classes. So what's this? That's one of that's my camera bag essentially. But it, there is what, said. What is this? It's a photograph. It's a photograph a, a, of, of cameras. Of cameras. Of cameras. Exactly. Um, a tin type photograph of film type. Cameras. But it's on the very same black substrate as right. the other plate. And yeah. if you get them yeah, the top, he will show them off because oh, he loves showing. You can't really see them from there. Like, well, like, he'll cut. I can reflect the light. Yeah, he'll he'll cut, he'll he'll pop into it and do a close oh, yeah. up. Uh, are you sending signals? Yeah. SOS. Fire. <laughs> Trying to get the camera to turn off. <laughs> it helps, Amy. No. But yeah, he took one of your classes and I actually sat and it was his subject for it. And I just had two big things of Coca Cola. So I'm sitting there 30 seconds shaking with caffeine fits. And it was. That's, he doesn't worry. Well, I don't need caffeine to do that. But <laughs> I actually had caffeine. What are some of your other ones? And are these the ones well, you Well, I was actually more interested in just the brief, oh. the brief what is the process for, for this? Yeah, for so you take it for this type. to that, the steps are. And of course, I promise not to say cannot type the sign because it's actually. Yeah, that's type. another thing you screwed up. I Would you up. say? I know, no. Exactly. Just, just let go on. Just can just canon type? Uh, uh, Sienna type. Oh, so, which was blue. It's See, blue now you know why we got the negative. <laughs> we get I, on that sometimes. We yeah. screwed yeah. everything up. You're going to get an F. You're going to get your, get a retroactive F. I, well, okay. So you know. <laughs> um, but wait a second. Did you not notice this lovely, lovely little uh, plate holder that I made? Plate holder of cyanotypes? No. <laughs> <laughs> if it were left to him, it would be. <laughs> what of my one amber Oh, type. that, that, that guy. Um, oh, yeah, that oh, guy. His name. See that guy, Courtney. Oh, exactly. He was my oh, partner. He was great. 
Oh, <laughs> my partner was great, but no, I, I she well, could not remember was, who you were. He was a ceramicist. And, he is. Yeah, and he brought in a bunch of his work wow. to photograph. Cool. Mm -hmm. He did. Yes. Yeah, a lot um, of fun people that come in to do this. That take oh class, yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I I have a great time here. Uh, Dallas is a lovely bunch of people. A great bunch of people, absolutely. Um, so the way you make a tintype is you would peel off this plastic layer, which is on top here. Right. Um, then you pour a substance called collodion onto the plate surface. You let it set for a second. Um, right. and then now, you, they, you don't just pour, pour, I mean, there's kind of an art to it, isn't there? There is. I mean, it's and because, yeah. You have to take the class to get the rest exactly. of the information. Exactly. To get the details <laughs> to, ha to know how to hold the plate just right. Right. And that's And true. to that's understand true. what I'm talking about when I talk about rat pancakes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was going to ask if that was still part of the uh, process. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Actually, we had a mouse today. I Maybe we should that. cut that out of the video, oh, but sorry. I, it was pretty funny because I, I had just finished talking about, the you know, this is a mouse pancake and this is a rat pancake and in saunters this mouse from outside. He, he thought you called his name. Yeah, That's like, definitely a I hear you guys got pancakes <laughs> <laughs> and they're my size. Yeah. Um, so you pour your collodion on. You let it set for a second and then you put it into the silver bath, which right. sensitizes the plate surface. Um, it actually doesn't sensitize the plate surface, it sensitizes the collodion. Uh, the interaction of the silver nitrate and the collodion are what create the light sensitivity. And it's not actually the collodion itself, but it's the iodized and bromides <laughs> in the collodion. And I'm you getting goes, into you it. See, you yeah. see where it goes down. Yeah, there. it just goes, whoa. But okay. yeah, when you take the class, it goes, it, there's a out. lot to this. Yeah. It's very, very fast. Then, um, after the uh, plate is sensitized, you pull it out, you put it into your plate holder. Put it in the back of your camera, expose the plate, then you take it back to the dark room, you take it out of the plate holder, you develop it, right. and then um, you can stop the development. And once you've stopped development, you can turn on the lights. So you can actually watch the plate fix out, which is where the plate goes from negative to positive uh, in tintype, um, which is kind of the fun part for it. And that's why that, yeah, the word it comes out like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that is really cool. Now, no, I've had people come into my store who've taken your class, and they've said, basically, if I had tried to do this on my own and learn this on my own, I would have spent a lot more money trial and error than going to your class. They said going to your class, taking your class, saved them money and time. And so they didn't have to spend all that time. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's true. Trying you know, to figure it out, but just Before shooting. I took a class, I actually read a book on it, and I forget whose book it was, but essentially it was the scariest book ever. It's like, <laughs> oh, well, if you get this chemical, you could die. And if this chemical mixes this chemical, you could die. And I'm like, ugh. And then, of course, I'm taking but your I class. I tell you that, too. Well, you did, but. <laughs> You're not as scary as but the <laughs> But you didn't start every paragraph with, you could die. So that was that was you a didn't? big difference. <laughs> no, you did not. But still, it was, you, were, you were very you kind of ease this into it and it almost felt like, like hey this is the safe way to do it and which is the really least likely way to die this is the least likely <laughs> way to die so i mean there wasn't any I, I mean for example we weren't using any cyanide no okay we okay. don't use cyanide and i don't use cyanide with any any students yeah it's very dangerous that's because, why I mean, that's because you, get a you will ago, definitely get a negative yelp review yes if <laughs> that's you lose sure. a student <laughs> that would that would cause problems yes <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, I'm glad that you've, I mean, been to Dallas. You and I, I told you then. I don't know if you remember saying it. I said each time you come to Dallas, you're gonna stay longer and longer. And <laughs> you, you said that. Yes, and you yeah. remember it. So and you are staying longer and longer each time. You're you there. said that it would get up to two weeks. Yeah, I still haven't gotten two weeks. Uh, well, so baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> you're up to four, and you're not actually four weeks. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Half a week. We're Officially, half, a half a week. It's yeah. almost because you came in for Thursday. When did you actually hit Dallas? I got here on Friday. Friday morning. Yeah. All right. And you stopped and took pictures along the way, didn't you? I mean, it was, so it wasn't just a straight drive. It was a work drive. Yeah. Yeah. And last time, because I remember, because you go through small towns and take pictures uh, and do 8 by 10 film. Usually, you know, I was reading the New York Times piece on you. Saying that when you moved. You. Nice piece. When yeah. you moved to Paw Paw, West Virginia. Uh, you just seeing, like saying pop I, I do. I did. Well, she moved there. I know. It's kind of nice. So you built a dark room. Hey, hey, shh, 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 shh. How many sodas have you had? <laughs> None yet. 
You built a dark room in your neighbor's house. What kind of neighbors are going to allow you to build a dark room in their house? I mean, because if my neighbor the came next door, kind. would say, "Hey, uh, I really want a, na- a dark room in your house," my wife would say, "Oh hell no." Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so I have these great neighbors that live down the road from me. I mean, all of my neighbors are really down great. the road. <laughs> They're also you're. You're yeah. up in the mountains, oh, right? which which I understand because that's the like the entire community. You probably know the names of all your neighbors. Oh yeah, uh, where I'm lucky to know the guy who actually lives very next door. Uh, the rest of them right. I don't know. Right. But you probably know everybody in your area. I mean, not everybody, but um, I know a good I, I know a good amount of most of the people within a I would say three mile vicinity. I know pretty much everybody. Wow. So what do you um, call yourselves, Papayans? Uh, he's working on that one. <laughs> so, I was just right then. Uh, right then, it was just a spur of the wind. <laughs> and if you photographed most of your neighbors already, um, I have photographed a goodly amount of them. Yes. Cool. But I would not say I photographed. Now them. you talked about the New York Times. There's also Harper's Magazine. Last Is time that you the were piece here. you wrote? No, she didn't write it. I didn't write it, but uh, uh, you it was did a piece by Ted Conover. Yeah. And actually, the last time I was here in Dallas, mm-hmm. they had called me um, for to, to go out to Alamosa, Colorado. Um, and I, you know, was Packed like, that's, that's <laughs> cool. And then I looked at the weather out there, and it was negative 32. <laughs> and I was like, that was I don't a know if this shoot. is going to work, yeah. because my shutter won't even fire in negative 32 degree weather. No. So, well, I mean, uh, and as we learned in class, I mean, it's a uh, clearly it's a wet process and you have a time limit upon which you can actually take the picture. And obviously different temperatures are going to either increase or decrease the time. Well, she's shooting film on this one. Though. She yeah, that shoot one I did time. shoot film. Well, in that case, it's too damn cold to get out of the car. Exactly. So. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you, every shot in that was an eight by 10 shot. They and were all eight um, by 10. yeah, and so then they picked, you, you did the you shoot for the entire uh, article. And everything was an eight by ten, and I keep telling people, eight by ten's coming back. It's it's a huge thing that's I think at I the think beginning. It ever left. Well, it, it kind of was not as popular. Uh, people were doing it, but people didn't know people were doing it. But I mean, there are a lot of eight by ten photographers out there now, which people don't know their names of. Everybody knows Ansel Adams or have heard of, has heard of Ansel Adams. Who's that? Her name is Lisa. She yeah. shoots eight by ten. She shoots eight by ten as well. Yeah, ten type and film. And it's, it's, but anyway, um, cause there's other projects that are going on out there separate from you. And, but, really? Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, it's so you're, you're holding the entire thing down. No, no, you started that. the whole thing. It was <laughs> your movement, but no, it's just, I'm just, people don't know this though. And it's, it's, I, eight by 10 is making a big comeback. And I, I used to, I think the first time you came here, I had HP five and eight by 10. Now I've got HP five, FP four. I got Delta 100. I've actually also have Portra. 160 and 8 by 10. And how I, much is it? It's like money. 40, <laughs> she like, needs some. How much sheets. is it? Yeah, it's 10 sheets. Yeah, yeah it's everybody else's 10 sheets. Ilford's 25 sheets. Yeah, that's what And then that I have got a wrong. Provia. And then <laughs> I've got uh, Cat's Labs. And now I also carry um, Jason Lang's Dry Mount Glass Plates. Yeah. 4 by 5 and 8 by 10. Awesome. So I got all of that in 8 by 10s and I've sold. We don't make any money for saying that, though. I do. I mean, whenever I sell it, but it's like it's, you know, but you know, it's just it's it's just that it's grown from the first time you came to the to do this to now. I mean, that's how much my end of it's grown, and I've sold probably. I mean, for a store like mine, and you've ever both of y'all have been there. I mean, it's a hole in the wall, a little place, father and son. Have you seen the Yelp reviews? Yeah, we had really? a whole episode on that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch that episode. No, you he, got, he got at least two one-star reviews. I got they, I did. they were scathing. And I got called jerk a few times. A few? I mean, yes. Several times. Several times. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't anyway. read my review yet. Though. No, you haven't. And we'll talk about that one that you do on the show. But anyway, it's just it's it's I, I find it exciting that so much interest has come on eight by tens, and it's um, there's other things going on that you know I'll tell you about later, but th- that's interesting. And it's just fun. Um, we're at the beginning of the of the revival of it, I think. And I mean, your project shows that it's healthy and out there and growing. And you're doing great in it and getting great reviews on what you're doing with it. So, congrats on that. You know, I follow you. I 
I love watching your stories on, on what you're doing and your projects and everything. Not in a creepy way. I just think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what so, you've been doing. You. I know what you've been doing. <laughs> I know you're specifying. <laughs> not in a creepy way. It's not in a well, I mean, way. I, I highly appreciated the class for what you know. I, you know, yeah. the fact that I can actually do the entire process uh, worry-free. I mean, yes, you, you had some good warnings in there, good things like that, but to actually be able to do the process, jump in immediately, start doing it, it was actually fantastic. Uh, and it actually helped as after the class when I said, okay, well, I already had a four by five camera and now I need these backing plates and now I need to get some chemicals. And so never it, already having done a lot of the stuff is actually really great that, that I could do these things myself. So it was, it was a fantastic class. Uh, what would be, do you have any suggestions for anybody who's starting out in Tintype? Uh, you know, obviously take a class, take a class with you, <laughs> but uh, any, any, any decent good pointers to give them? Yeah. Don't do cyanide. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs don't do either. Drugs. No, um, yeah. if if you do photography, you'll never have enough money for drugs. That's pretty much what we say actually yeah. all the time. <laughs> um, uh, good good word word of advice for people beginning in tintype. Um, or don't what's, what's, don't lose heart because oh, it can be really difficult to that, that's to start. The and because because your first program. couple, you're probably just they're just gonna turn out bad. Yeah, I mean, well, your first one on your own might just turn out like a total Does... pile of yeah crap and, and rat pad. Oh yeah. Rat, so rat not not that I'm showing off my works, but I actually <laughs> sent you a picture of this one. This is one of my first ones, and and I told you about those wavy lines. And of course, I figured out later it's because that's the the silver splashing on the plate as it's being dumped in there. Right, hesitation marks. Exactly. You just need to but go for it. Then as I figured out it had to be a nice smooth going into the to the silver, clearly I figured that out. But it did take a couple of tries. I mean oh, you, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, you know the first uh, three or four plates, garbage. But then I started figuring oh, it out. Well uh, you have to remember too that anything that's worthwhile is gonna be difficult. And right? that's probably the best me, advice. The, uh, based on that, but you were telling me that people are who shoot digital and shoot other things are wanting to do things like this, get their hands dirty again. That's true. And yeah. so, I mean, you find this out everywhere kind of going on. Well, a lot of these workshops, because I've taught hundreds of workshops at this point, if not in over a thousand, I mean, I don't even know. That's a lot. It's been, it's been a lot of workshops. I mean, it's definitely been hundreds. Um, but, um, people come from all walks of life. I mean, we've got, even in this class, just in this class that we did today, we mm -hmm. have um, an engineer, we have a pilot, we have someone who works in the defense system. Yeah. Um, we have, what was the other ones? I mean, you know, and, and these are people- You're not who, on the spot. You actually have people from out of state that have come to this thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So the guy from he Sulphur, from Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, Sulphur, Louisiana. He came, to, he came here for Policon and I talked to him and I said, you have to do 10 times. And he goes, yeah. I'll do ten, and I told him about it, and so he signed up like that weekend. Yeah, to do your ten type. We've had people. I mean, it, at Penumbra, we've had people come from other countries too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this this workshop too. We've had people from all over the country um, who know about DCP. It's growing, and yeah, like you know, and again, this Dallas is fun. For, it's DCP is fun for that because it's one of those things where I'm hoping that the community can guide it gather around it because when you go to LA and San Francisco New York there's groups that people can go to right and sort of hook into the local scene well one of the nice things so. is there's not really anyone in the southeast right I mean there's I have workshops at my house mm -hmm. um, and people kind of come to me from kind of the, the, the southeast quadrant of the country <laughs> uh, you know they can come up to Paul Paul West Virginia and do my workshop at my house don't say it <laughs> or I'm biting my tongue right now. I'm biting my tongue. Or um, they can come here to Texas. You know, this mm -hmm. is kind of another uh, region of the country that doesn't have a whole lot of alternative process workshops available to. It's no, I mean it's you're right. I, I don't see a lot of I don't see a lot of workshops. I mean, I do see quite a few people doing it. Uh, right. You know, lots of individuals who will but open up. Travel far. Uh, and I, I think a lot of them in Austin and Houston and, and lots of the places like that, but I don't know that they're actually providing classes for it. At least I have seen. And if they do, so. it's very it's very local. I mean, it's like just a, like local local. 
Um, this yeah spreads out across the several states now. So yeah, this is this is cool. I mean, it's growing, and it's not just this, but it's interested in other things in this area that's growing, and it all plays into itself and bounces off of itself and pushes the community out, which is fun. I still want to try to get one of those beer and, and camera groups, you know, that they're they're starting up around the country, and uh, do that in the Dallas area or something like that, to where they, people can call, come together. And he's got wild ideas. I so, do, um, man. Just, well, we promised right Lisa we'd keep this short and sweet. She's probably yeah. starving. She's already had a long day. So we're essentially going to wrap this up right now. And as usual, we're going to ask everybody to subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Like. Comment. Now, you're comment, nice about, to, comment about him. You're on, yeah, you're on, you're on Instagram, Facebook. Who's on first? Who? I don't know. No. I don't know who's on second. <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> I don't care. On, on the, uh, I don't care. It's a shortstop. They, no, I don't know. It's the shortstop. Uh, the um, uh, it's uh, yesterday's pitching, tomorrow's catching. <laughs> I don't give a damn. It's a shortstop, isn't it? So uh, clearly, she's Sorry. getting some really old radio in West Virginia right now, and she's reliving. Africa she's up in the mountains. So, so those radio waves are just now. They're just now getting, p- getting up there. <laughs> oh, that would be really cool. <laughs> if it was still bouncing around, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just picked up Milton Berle. Yeah. yeah, that would be funny. But yeah, it's a. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's it's so, fun. It is fun. So uh, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, uh, say things about uh, Todd's beard. If yeah, you like. give us likes. I don't know if that. Uh, no, it, it kind of just it just came right back out. Oh yeah, because it's got a mind of its own. It does. Yeah. Next time we'll bring some pomade. We're not, uh, January is, be it's, be gone. It's, it's sh- we're shaving off in January. We're going to do it on. It's out of here. Yep. Landlord's going to be evicting it. Yeah. Um, the girl said it. She's like, God, the beer is never came by. So it's like, not shaved. And November has come and gone, and I've already shaved. So. Yeah. He had a small beer. Yeah. He was going to be. Now, I well, know, if I you know, guys I grew them know. long <laughs> enough, you could beard them together. <laughs> it would be easy to talk back up. And on that note, we're going to say <laughs> bye, y'all. Ciao, baby. We appreciate it. Can we get up? And we will oh, walk okay. off. Yeah, sorry. This part was not. Nah, you know what? It wasn't in the manual. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't go that far. We usually don't. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, no problem.